Next into the tank, an entrepreneur with a green solution to a perennial puppy problem. Oh, oh, oh do you want a hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a cute dog. Oh, here, would you like me to take one? Yes, yeah. please. Here, give, I don't care which one, I'll <laughs> take one so you can... Here, give me the teddy bear. <laughs> is it real? He's real. Oh, no, it's not real, it's just a teddy. <laughs> OK, go. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> smells nice. How cute. Hello, sharks. My name is Julia, and I am the creator and founder of Potty Plant. I'm here looking for a $70,000 investment in return for a 10% equity stake in my company. Two years ago, I welcomed a much smaller Barney into my heart and apartment. Toilet training Barney in the apartment proved to be a real challenge. Each day, I would lay five of these puppy pads on the balcony floor, and I would always feel so guilty for throwing away so much rubbish every single day especially when these puppy pads didn't solve the smell problem. Desperate for a solution, I had considered a synthetic grass dog potty, but the online reviews weren't very encouraging. They are not eco-friendly. Synthetic grass needs to be replaced regularly, and they don't get rid of pee stench. So I knew I needed to create something that wasn't already out there in the market. I needed to incorporate nature into apartment living. So after much research and development, I created Australia's first real grass dog toilet, the potty plant. The potty plant uses real grass, and real grass means no more pea stench. This is because the grass roots absorb the pea. There's no more cleaning with the potty plant. You just throw out the old grass mat and you lay the new one down. And your potty plant is good to go. All of our grass mats are 100% natural and compostable, so no more landfill guilt. It's convenient. You sign up online to a grass subscription and you get fresh grass delivered to your door every week, fortnight or month. There are 4.2 million dogs in Australia and almost a quarter of all Australian households are accommodated in medium or high density housing. And this shows no sign of slowing down. So sharks, who wants to help me urbanise toilet time for our best friends? Okay. Julia, that was $70,000 for 10%. That's so correct. So you're valuing your business at around $700,000. That's correct. Or exactly $700,000. Yep. <laughs> so, Julia, I, I, yeah. it's certainly a, um, a really positive approach to toilet training. No doubt dogs like the natural feel of grass under their feet rather than the synthetic. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you been in business? Um, so I launched my website in May. So if you launched in May, then you've got real sales on the ground? Yep, that's correct. So after I was confident with the prototype, I decided to produce and uh, import 50 potty plants. Out of the 50 potty plants, I sold 47. And out of the 47 that I have sold, I've got 21 subscribers. So where are we making the money? Yeah, so I make the money first with the starter kit that's currently retailing at $230. Dog owners can then uh, decide whether they want to go on a weekly, fortnightly, or a monthly plan. Can you give me the numbers for, for a weekly, monthly subscription. Yeah, so $25 for a week, $33 for a fortnight, and $37 for a month. Where do you get the grass from? Um, okay, so the hydroponic grass, I grow it in my backyard. So doesn't that limit your supply side? I mean, what if you've got a thousand orders? If I was to get to that stage, I would be outsourcing the, um, the grass to a nursery. So, so what does the grass cost? Um, the hydroponic grass costs me $16 to produce and deliver to the customer. $16 delivered and you're charging $16. $25. So and I charge 25 so for the So potentially week. you're making nine bucks in delivery. Yes, for the weekly. Yeah, for the weekly. Do you rate this, Glenn? What do you think? Is this... Yeah, look, they're absolutely niche. It's, it's more for your middle to upper uh, pet owner in apartment living, and there's, there's a market. So if this gorgeous lady came and pitched to you for, a, for just stocking this product, like the kit and stuff, would you say yes to it? Um, we'd probably want to have seen a little bit more traction through some more sales.
So how are you finding customers? Okay, so I've been uh, going to the uh, weekend markets. Uh, I've met most of my customers at the markets and the rest have been through word of mouth. Are you crazy? You can spot apartment buildings. They're really tall and you can't miss them. You walk into them and your letterbox drop them. Why go to a market where you can actually go straight to your potential customer because you can spot where they are? Yeah. That's so unusual, right? You know where they are. You can just look across the horizon and spot every last one of them. Yeah. Um, I hope something happens with Glenn. I think it's great. I think it, it, it is a niche business, though. I'm out and I, I wish you all the best. And thanks for bringing the dogs in. It was good <laughs> to see you. Thank you. So I think you've got a great, you've got a great idea. And the problem I've got, the margins aren't great. And so then I really question how scalable you'll be able to go. I think the proof of concept's not quite there for me. And at this point, I struggle to see the scalability of it. For that reason, I'm out. Okay, thank you. Asking for equity is almost the wrong place, actually. I think, based on your numbers, you should be cash flow positive pretty quickly. So I, I, I just, I think you'll, you'll, you, I'm sure you could convince someone to lend you some money. You should be going for some debt, not equity, and pay them back. Um, I think you'll be successful, but you've got a, another three to six months to, to sort of answer some of those questions and all those variables. A bit too complicated for me. Okay. Good luck to you, but Thank I'm you, out. Andrew. Thank you. I, um, I love Interviewity and I think you've done a great job and the first step on entrepreneurship is always, is always challenging and always hard. You're gorgeous, you will be a success, you will make money. Thank you. But I do agree with Andrew, very unusual, but I do agree with him. <laughs> I think the bank would love to talk to you. For that reason, I'm out. Thank you for considering. So, Julia. So you're very thoughtful and you're very considered. You've come up with a solution for a really smelly problem. Um, why, why should I invest in you? I, I'm, I'm interested, but why you? This is about investing in you and your dream. Um, because I'm extremely hardworking. Um, I'm so passionate about this. Um, I don't take any days off. I will keep working until this does take off and, and work. Um, you know, uh, I'm very resource. I like to think I'm, I am very resourceful. Um, this business allows me the opportunity to be creative every day. So this is something that I really need to, uh, you know, to keep working in. Um, so if you do invest in my company, then um, you know you're sure to get a success out of it. Um, I won't stop until it, everybody or every major city does have. Um, How come you didn't give us that speech when you started? That was yeah, amazing. You, you didn't you ask me. me. Yeah. I, 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 might, I might be back in. I might be back in. They're out, you. Julia. Don't worry about them. This is <laughs> this this is you and me talking about an opportunity in the pet industry. I know you're certainly looking for a nice little niche market in the apartment living space, and, and th there is a growing opportunity, without a doubt. 100%. Yeah. And? <laughs> so, Glenn. <laughs> so, Julia. <laughs> Julia Sark wants $70,000 for 10% of her natural grass dog potty training business. Four sharks are out, but Julia's best hope is still in play. So, Glenn. <laughs> so, Julia. <laughs> I think the $700,000 valuation's making me sweat a lot. Make me an offer. Yeah, that's what I should do. $70,000 for 30% of your company is my offer. 30%? Yep. You're getting decades of, of experience in the category that you want to grow in. It's worth it's it has no price I, on it. I respect that. I really do. Would you be okay with twenty percent?
What about $70,000 for 25%? Let's do it. Yay! 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 Well done. Thank you. Oh! Thank you, Barney. High five, Barney. <laughs> See you. Good luck. See you. Thank you. Well, your dogs certainly seemed happy with the deal. How are you feeling? You must be thrilled. I am so happy. You uh, had to give up a bit more equity out of your business. Are you OK with that? For the years of experience that Glenn is bringing on board and the connections he has in the pet industry, I'm super happy to be working with him. All right, well, best of luck. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.